Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Andy, aka the Opinionated Brit, and welcome back to another wet shaving review. Today we're looking at a razor out of Portugal uh, in Europe, and that is the Tatara Masamune. So without further ado, let's uh, roll the credits and get on with the review. Hello, how are we? Uh, well, I hope uh, on this Sunday evening, it is Sunday evening here in the UK. Um, it's been forever since I've, uh, since I've put a video up or it feels like a, a long time. I think the last one I did was the um, results of the 500 subscriber giveaway. So uh, thank you to everybody that um, entered that and uh, well done, Glenn. I haven't got that prize out to you yet, but I will get it out to you, I promise. Um, I'll get it out to you next week. Um, yeah, um, well, what has been going on? Obviously, uh, the podcast, I recorded another episode of the Opinionated Brit podcast last night um, with um, Ben from Shave It Shave Co. Uh, I'm recording another episode of the Take Care Men, a mental health podcast tonight uh, after this with Todd, Todd Stanfield, aka uh, Take Care Man. And uh, yeah, it's been busy. Um, but we're back and uh, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to try and revise the way I do things um, with my reviews. Um, try and make it a bit more informed and give you guys a more informed decision so you can go off and uh, decide whether you want to put your hand in your pocket and buy one of these razors or not. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it works out. Let me know how, uh, how it goes in the comments. Uh, do you like it? What do you want to see more of? Um, does it work? Doesn't it work? Do some elements of it work? Um, yeah, let me know. I'm going to try and keep it to around 15 minutes and I've got my timings here. So if I go over it, I've got no excuse. Um, I've got six minutes for the shave. I don't know. Is that enough? We'll find out. Um, but anyway, enough about that. We'll move on and we're going to talk a little bit about the razor. So as I said, we're looking at the Tatara Masamune. Obviously, it's a, well, I say obviously, if you don't use the double-edged razor before, uh, you wouldn't know that, but it is a double-edged razor. Um, it's a three-piece CNC machined uh, razor in AI SI303 stainless steel, high-grade stainless steel. Um, and it's machined from solid material. Um, so it's a, a solid piece of steel. Um, it's got tolerances up to 0.02 millimeters, which is tiny. Um, it's hand finished, sandblasted, um, in order to give it that beautiful final matte effect. I don't know whether my uh, camera does it any justice, but it is a, a lovely finish. Um, it's a machined finish, but it is uh, it is fantastic. So there you go. Um, and it, it, it feels a high quality product. So it isn't, well, it maybe is mass produced, but it's not like... A, uh, I don't know, like a Muller or a Merca. I'm not saying they're mass produced. They are good razors, but this is a, a finely machined razor. Um, blade gap. Um, so that is the bit that you can't really see and it won't focus. But basically the, the blade gap is uh, 0.63 mil. So I'd call it a fairly medium um, razor, maybe medium to low aggression. Uh, the handle is 89 millimeters in length uh, the overall razor from top cap to bottom is 97 millimeters the weight 85 grams it has a nice weight to it it's not too much um, it comes in a closed comb and an open comb um, option all parts are interchangeable with the other razor as well which i'll touch on um, uh, for, for anybody that wants it that's a three and a half three and a half inch handle um, you can also get the Masamune Nodachi um, handle or well, razor, um, which is longer at uh, 105 millimeters um, and has a blade gap of 0 .0 or 0.9 millimeters, should I say? So that's a little bit more aggressive, but all the parts are interchangeable. Um, so you can you can mix and match. You can have a slightly more aggressive razor on this handle or you can have the less aggressive head on the uh, Nodachi handle. Um, as you can see, it is 
beautifully made, fits together like a dream. There's the three parts, there's a top cap there, the uh, base plate there with the uh, Tatara, can't really pick it up, but the Tatara logo on there, look. And then the handle, so it's a three piece razor. Um, slightly unusual, it's got rectangle um, posts for the, uh, the razor or slots. Um, and there you go. So I'm gonna crack on, I'm already over my time here. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be shaving up with, the loadout. So uh, soap, we are gonna be using um, Farfield from Oaken Lab. Really like that soap, bit of a mishmash that we've got today, Sputniks. We're gonna use uh, Sputnik razor blade, first use brush, the uh, Omega Evo um, Veteran, that's called. Um, bowl, unbreakable bowl, as always. And then to finish off, we are gonna use some of the uh, Incorpora Real from Southern Witchcrafts, the unscented um, aftershave, and then uh, some Havana Balm from, it is from Moon Soaps. I didn't know that, but clearly I didn't. Right, I'm gonna um, go off and lather this soap and I'll be back in a minute. And there we go, we're back. A nice lather whipped up there. Um, no effort at all with that. Let's uh, crack on the shade, take the old bins off. Um, let's put them here, put them there. Um, wet the face, I forgot to mention, we're gonna be using the um, Fresco cube from uh, PAA, is a pre-shade. Pre wet the old whiskers. There we go. Um, come on, I've only got a couple of days growth. We'll see how we get on with this bad boy. I've been using this um, razor for probably two weeks on and off, so I've got a good uh, understanding of how it works, what's good about it, what's bad about it. Um, props to Adam Brazendale, who's uh, loaned me this razor. Thank you, my friend, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, Adam's a good guy. Uh, a lot of time for Adam, so yeah. Thanks, buddy, appreciate that. And I've lost all concept of how long I've been doing this for now. So let's just hope I can keep it around that 15 minute mark. All right, there we go. Load the brush up, load the brush up, load the razor up when it's blade. Don't roll off. Don't do that. Um, as I said, first juice, Voshkod, Voshkod, Sputnik going in. You can tell it's been a while since I've done a, a, a video. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have a blooper. I'll just pick those up. There we go, right. Top cap. One thing I will say that I don't like about this is the uh, rectangle slots or the posts for the uh, razor. It, it, um, it is a bit fiddly going into the slots on the base plate, but you just all you have to do is squeeze it down. Make sure you squeeze it down as you, as you turn the handle and tighten the handle up, and it uh, it does go in no problem. There we go. Right, first pass. But what I'm gonna do? Take my notes down. Ha! Yes, I use my notes. I'm uh, I'm not that good where I can uh, remember everything. Just giving away one of my trade secrets. Um, you can see now. But there we go, first pass. It's nice. It is a nice razor. Um, it's smooth, it's definitely smooth. Um, if you're new to wet shaving, it isn't gonna scare you, it isn't overly aggressive. You don't get a lot of blade feel. Um, I've used this with several different blades. I've, I've used Bosch cards, I've used Gillette Winners, I've used um, Gillette Sona Clocks, I've even used Feathers, um, just to see how they work. And they all perform 
fairly similarly, similarly, I can never say that, similarly, similar, similarly, similarly, is that the word? I don't know, all the same. <laughs> um, another thing I will say for this razor, I find it quite mild. But that's not a bad thing. It's what I'd class as a daily driver, something you could use every day and not get any massive irritation. Um, it has a nice sound, you probably can't pick up that feedback. It's not like your normal feedback. It's uh, a kind of liking it to swing in a sword. Um, not that I've ever swung a sword in anger, but it's got a deep metallic kind of feedback to it rather than a more hollow, I suppose, scratchy feedback. And that again, just uh, reflects the, the fantastic um, workmanship that's gone into this razor. So there we go, first shave or first pass, not too bad. Um, you're not gonna be able to get away with doing a, a one pass shave on this. For this razor, well, I certainly can't, and that's rare for me because I do have slightly sensitive skin. Um, we'll go ahead and do the second pass. Come on, Andy, you got this. You can do this 15 minutes. Not that I'm rushing. I don't want to rush it. You should never rush a shave, but I am conscious that audience retention counts for a lot in this game. Some of my videos do uh, do go on for 20 plus minutes. I don't have the time really to watch a lot of other guys' videos, which is a shame, but I know personally, if I'm watching a video, I want it to be around 15 minutes. Okay, that'll do. Second pass, we'll go across the grain. Or at least on the old jowls. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to use. It's not uncomfortable. It isn't aggressive. There's not a lot of blade feel. So if you're a person that shaves daily, I am not uh, normally, it would be a good choice um, for you. Me personally, I tend to shave every other day. And I like something with a, a bit more aggression, so I'd be um, keen to see how the Nodachi compares, really. Um, I don't like a lot of blade feel, so if they can keep the uh, lack of blade feel, but get slightly more efficiency, I'd be down for that. So... Tara, if you are listening or watching, let me know. That'll do for me, sports fans. That'll do. Let's uh, rinse off. Get all the uh, excess soap off. We're going to be doing the old Ken Surf, do we? Shout out to you, Ken, if you're watching. Well, there you go. Two passes. I mean, the uh, yeah, I'm not getting any irritation. It's not feeling sore or red at all. I'll get the uh, Southern Witchcraft Incorporeal on. Splash some on. It's a water-based, oh, oh dear. The little white thingy cap came out with a cap and squirted everywhere. Squirter, we've got a squirter. Uh, it is unscented, there's no scent to that. Let's get rid of some of that. How are we doing for time? What are we on, 17 minutes? Oh, 
did spend a couple of minutes lathering, so we might be able to just squeeze it in. But if not, it's okay. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll go again. We'll try again with the next video. Havana uh, aftershave balm from Moon Soaps. Love these because they have a little bit of menthol in them. Don't need a lot. A couple of squirts. Such a nice scent as well. Oh, yes. Very nice. Oh, suits you, sir. And there we go. Let's uh, clean off the glasses a little bit so I can see you lovely people. And then we'll finish up. So, oh, that is not good. I can't see a thing. Um, is there another towel? Damn it, Wilma, why don't you prep? <sighs> Here we go, that's better. Right, final thoughts on the uh, Tatara Masamune. As I said, during the shave, it is a great daily shaver. Um, that's what I'd class it as, a daily shaver. Um, it's fantastically made. It's easy to use, there's the right amount of uh, weight to it. Personally, if I was going to get a handle, I'd go for the longer Nadachi one just because I've got big hands, um, but it handles fine. Um, the only gripe that I've really got with it is the way that the razor sits on those posts and then fixes into the top cap or the, the base plate. But again, as long as you clamp that down when you're screwing the handle in, there's no, there's no problem at all. Um, but yeah, thumbs up to Tara, well done. Um, do I want to get my hands on? Would I, would I buy one of those first off, I suppose? The answer is, after using that, me personally, no. I just find it's a little bit too mild, um, even if I was shaving every other day. But if you shave every day and you've got sensitive skin, it'd be a great um, investment. It'd be a great razor for you. Um, and it looks nice. Um, but yeah, there we go. That was my thoughts on the... Uh, Tatara Masamune. Thank you to everybody that's watched this video. Thank you to everybody that's subscribed to the channel. If you're watching this for the first time um, and you've enjoyed the, the video, please consider clicking subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave a comment and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good week next week. Make sure you tune in to the Opinionated Brit podcast next week where I've got Ben from Shave It Shave come on. It was an interesting episode that actually. Um, if you haven't heard of them or you don't know a lot about them, listen to it. You'll find out a lot more. Make sure you listen to the Take Care Men Opinionated, oh, sorry, the Take Care Men and Mental Health podcast next week as well. Um, I'm going to record that after this. And uh, yeah, enjoy your week. Thank you for watching. Stay out of trouble. Stay safe, and most importantly, stay shaving. Peace.